Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on a new tool that is called Super Agent. Super Agent is an advanced tool designed to streamline the setup and the deployment process of large language model agents in the production environment. Now, this is quite groundbreaking as it does a lot of the things that you would want to do with Flowwise as well as Chainlit and many of these other applications that we covered on this actual channel it offers a comprehensive set of features and functionalities and basically it's greatly able to simplify the deployment the management and the development of ai agents now with super agent you're able to use and easily access the configuration and the deployment of your own LM agent with minimal effort. You can see in this demo video over here, you're able to schedule a 30 minute follow up meeting with the email that you have correlated with Google and you can set it in your calendar. And it's basically like your mini agent. And this is something that we're going to be covering in today's video. We're going to talk a little bit more about what you can do with super agent as well as showcasing you some of the actual usabilities, talking a little bit more about the roadmap and showing you how you can actually install it and lastly we'll also take a look at how you can actually play around with it and do some of the cool things with super agent so with that thought guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on the world of ai page on twitter follow it if you guys haven't already turn on the notification bell and if you guys haven't subscribed already it would mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can do so turn on the notification bell like this video and comment anything that you want to see in the future uploads so with that thought guys if you guys haven't seen my previous videos definitely do so and i'll skip right into the video one of the key features of super agent is its ability to have its built-in memory and document retrieval capabilities using a vector database. These vector databases allow large language model agents to store and retrieve information effectively. Now by leveraging these features, you as a user can enhance your own agent's ability to remember context, references, as well as past interactions. And you can even like retrieve certain type of information from relevant documents, as well as all of what has been contributed to your own inputs with this system so that you can get a better overall performance and effectiveness as the system or the AI actually learns from previous knowledge to help you get better generative content for future generation. Now, SuperAgent also provides powerful tools that facilitate the development and the deployment of large language model agents. Now, these tools include user-friendly interface for configuring agent settings, managing training data, as well as monitoring agent performance. Now, this interface simplifies the process of fine-tuning the agents, which basically allows you as a user to optimize your own behaviors as well as responses of the actual agents that you create according to specific requirements. Now, additionally to all of this, you can actually use SuperAgent to basically have webhooks, which are mechanisms for sending and receiving data between like different systems. And with these webhooks, you're able to enable a seamless integration between the large language model agents, as well as through external applications or services. And you can basically connect these APIs with your own large language model agent. And this basically allows you to incorporate the actual agent into existing workflows or building upon new applications that are revolving around these external APIs. Now, another useful feature of SuperAgent is its ability to schedule tasks using its cron jobs. Now, cron jobs are automated tasks that can be executed at predefined intervals. By leveraging cron jobs, developers can basically automate various operations that are associated with LM agents, such as a data synchronization, a model update, or even general regular reports that are sent. Now, this feature ensures that the agents are basically up to date and are functioning basically to the optimal set limit without any requiring manual instruction. Another thing I want to note is that SuperAgent is open source. It's built off of the passionate community. So this is a great way for you to access this amazing application for free. Obviously, the external APIs are not going to be free. So this is one thing that you want to keep in mind. Another cool thing is that you can install this locally on your desktop for free. And this is something that I'll talk about later on in the video as I'll showcase this. And another thing is that you will also 
are able to access it on the cloud by clicking get started and this will take you to the registration page where you can actually create it now at this current moment i actually realized one thing it's a little slow at this current moment and the text or the actual like color of the font is not or the text is not that good you can barely read some of these things so i think this is one thing that they really need to improve upon obviously this is their early release so you're not going to get the best best of the best content right now of this application but it's something that i wanted to showcase because of its functionality i don't know in this video it showcases that it's good but when i'm looking at it it's not the best font but maybe this is because i didn't install it locally but with that thought let's get into the next focus where we talk a little bit more about why we should actually use super agent so you might be wondering what is actually the main purpose of super agent well the main purpose of super agent is to simplify the configuration and the development of large language model agents in the production environment it provides a comprehensive set of features and functionalities that we will showcase later on and we can see this in this video right here you're able to associate with a lot of external apis to help you streamline the process of integrating these large language model agents into your workflow now super agent aims to streamline the development process by offering a built-in memory and document retrieval capabilities through its vector database this is something that we talked about at the start of the video and what this does is that it allows the large language model agents to efficiently store and retrieve information which enhances its ability to remember context references as well as past interactions and in retrieving the relevant documents for generation now super agent also provides powerful tools which we talked about you're able to access many different types of external apis training data management tools and performance monitoring tools and basically it enables to fine tune your own agent to optimize for the best behavior and improvement of overall effectiveness now super agent also supports webhooks and this is something that we talked about you're able to ex integrate external applications and services to help you implement new applications that will revolve around your large language model agent and you're able to do so much with this so i highly recommend that you check this out and with this thought i'm going to showcase you what you can actually do with uh the actual concepts of super agent to get a better idea of the core concepts now in the context of super agent you have these agents and they refer to the ai model or the entities that are built upon the super agent tools now these agents are the core components of super agent and they're representing the large language models that can understand and generate human-like text now the agents in super agent are designed to process and generate text based off the input prompts that you give it and they've been basically trained on a vast amount of data so that they can learn patterns context as well as different structures to help generate coherent and relevant responses now with these agents you're able to basically have them specialized for like specific tasks domains depending on like what the training data is as well as fine tuning them to be applied for them for example you can have an agent that can be trained to provide customer support answering questions through a pdf retrieval document or even talk upon a specific topic the super agent also provides practical examples and guidelines for like basically creating and fine tuning these agents to achieve desired outcomes these examples help developers understand like the various possibilities and as well as like the applications of super agent in real life scenarios to further enhance the actual performance of these capabilities of the agents super agent also provides like the links to like papers other, or as well as like sources to like the underlying research as well as the techniques so i highly recommend that you check this out on their document page this is where you can retrieve a lot of the information behind super agent so you can get a better idea of like the concept as well as the platform and getting a better idea of like what you can actually do with super agent they actually have a roadmap set in place as to what they want to add you can see that they've already added a email and phone calling for agents system they have the autonomous agents I believe these are the things that they're gonna add and they're continuously working on it the purple check marks are the things that they've already integrated but they've are working towards adding these crazy features 
which will be so much better for this application as you're going to be able to do a lot more with it. So I'm definitely going to stay tuned with this application and in further updates, I'll let you guys know as to what you can actually do. And when they have released a more prominent version of this application, I'll definitely showcase it so that you can get a better idea. Now, in terms of installing it, you're going to need Git, which is an application that will help you clone GitHub repositories onto your desktop. Secondly, you will need Python. And lastly, you will need Docker as well as Visual Studio Code. Now, these are the applications that you will need to install it. Personally, I'm not going to actually install it locally on my desktop because I'm able to access it on the web front, which I can show you later on in the video. And this is one thing that I'll showcase as in terms of the de uh, demo as well as setting up the environment but basically you will need these four applications to install it firstly you will need to clone the repository onto your desktop and that is fairly easy by going onto command prompt and copying this code right here and pasting it and clicking enter once you're able to install it i actually already cloned it onto my repository but basically once you have that cloned onto your desktop you can click into the agent super agent file and then you can click enter and then copy and run the script to execute it now there's different things that you will need to set and this is by setting the environments so you will need to input your database url database migration url your open api key and these are some of the things that you will need to integrate for this application to run so what you can do is you can open up visual studio code and input these different variables in the dot and if example file that is set in the visual studio code and what you will then need to do is remove the dot example and just have it end file and then you can save it and once you're ready you can actually run the actual file once you have inputted your api keys and then you'll be able to access it on your local host and it's fairly easy guys it's just a click of a couple of things and a couple of command prompts and that's basically it as to how you can install it now let's actually showcase a demo of the actual ui so for the cloud version you're gonna have to create your own account with an email as well as your name and a password so these three things will be needed to actually create it now this is super agent and this is the platform that you can use to create as well as work on different uh, large language model agents. So you have your agents tab over here. You can create and manage different types of agents. You have a search engine as to search for the different types of agents. In this case, you can create your own agent. So you can create one with OpenAI. So in this case, you can add this tool and you can create this tool by making your first tool. And this is where you create this. And you can name it anything that you want, world of AI email tool when to use useful for sending out emails you can even set it for a super agent uh wolfram alpha this is uh for the mathematical as well as educational purposes and you have different things that you can integrate if you want to integrate an api you can input your open api spec url over here as well as using the, just the basic web search and you can just create it like this it'll take a couple seconds and once that is done you have your first tool created obviously this is just an example this is not going to have a lot of things that you can do with but basically then when you go back you can start your new agent click on the open ai you can add your world of ai email tool integrate it and then click on adding the documents so you can click and add a, a document that you want to play around with or have an ask certain type of information that you want to retrieve from the document for your actual agent and this way you can then move on forward by adding a prompt to define your agent's goal or objective and once that is done you can then click next select an llm model currently there's only three but I've actually heard from the developers that they're planning on adding different types of things such as like wizard coder as well as different LM models that are completely free with this model so that you're able to run it completely free. But in this case, you can select something that's free, which is the 3.5 turbo. You can input your LM API key. And then once you're done, you can then start generating different things. So I'm going to be right back once I input in this API key. So guys, I just inputted my API key. I'm going to name this world of AI email tool, email agent. 
uh, add a description that will be visible in agent library or emails. I don't know. I'm just creating this agent quickly so I can just showcase and highlight what you can actually do with this. Now this agent has been created. You can actually click run here and you'll be able to start configuring it and start playing around with the tool. You have an input, type your input and hit run. And obviously this is what is going to actually help you configure your own large language model tool. Now, obviously there's nothing else that you can do now because I didn't integrate any of the documents or different API keys, but these are some of the things that I was just showcasing you as to what you can do. You can even search or add a new token. Uh, you can have different logs set up here. And this is just a little breakdown as to what you can do with super agent. And I hope you found this video quite beneficial, guys. I was just trying my best to showcase what you can actually do with this amazing application. It's obviously in beta release, so there's a lot of things that you can do. But in summary, Super Agent is a powerful tool and it's going to be able to simplify the configuration and development of large language model agents in production. Now, with its inbuilt memory system as well as its document retrieval capabilities, I think that. The powerful tools that are associated with super agent is going to be very beneficial in deploying these large language model agents and it will be quite useful for a lot of different use cases so i hope you found this video quite helpful guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you give the world of ai on twitter a follow if you guys haven't already if you guys haven't subscribed definitely do so turn on the notification bell like this video and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys shortly Peace out, fellas.